Today, I'm going to show you how to mirror the audio from your Oculus Rift so that you can have the game audio coming out of the Rift's headphones and also your computer speakers at the same time. This is great when you are demoing your Rift to friends and they want to be able to see what you see and hear what you hear while you are in the Rift. We'll be doing this with one single piece of free software and some quick tweaks in the Oculus Home software. So stay locked, crush the like button, enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the shits. You can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. So, if you're demoing the Rift to friends at a Rift party and you want the other people in the room to hear what the person in the Rift is hearing, then we need to send the audio that is coming out of the Rift's headphones out to your speakers at the same time. This is known as mirroring audio, and this will let anyone else in the room hear what's going on in the Rift at the same time as the person using the Rift itself. So how do we get the Rift's audio coming out of both the Rift's headphones and your speakers? Well, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, provided your Rift is already set up, is go to Google and search for voice meter, which is one word and spelt voice, M-E-E-T-E-R, with four E's in there. This should land you on the VB Audio Voice Meter search result, and if you click that, you'll end up on the Voice Meter tab on the VB Audio software website. So if you scroll all the way down to where you see two download links, you can either download the zip file, which includes the Voice Meter setup installer, or just download the .exe setup installer itself, which I find much easier. So click on that, and once it is downloaded to your nominated download location, you can go ahead and install it by right clicking on the installer, choosing run as administrator, and then clicking the giant install button. Once that is installed, you will get this little pop-up and it will tell you that you need to restart your PC. So make sure you do that now before you go any further. We do this because restarting your PC is what completes the installation of the voice meter audio drivers. If you don't restart, this won't work. Once the computer has restarted, before we can open up any other software, we need to open up the Oculus Home software and make one small tweak. So once the Oculus Home software is open, come over to the top right and in this drop down menu, choose the settings menu. Then go over to the left here and click the devices tab and in that tab, go over and click on the Rift. This will open up a new settings menu and in this settings menu where it says VR audio output, we need to change this from Rift headphones to Windows default. Once we have changed the settings, we have to restart the Oculus Home software for this change to take effect. So go ahead and restart it now. Now, in order for mirroring audio to work, we need to open up our software in a specific order. And the first thing we need to open up is the Oculus Home software. This will make the Oculus Home software, which is where our game audio is coming from, our primary audio source. Once that is open, we can then go ahead and open up the voice meter program. So if you go to your start menu, you'll see the virtual IO control panel here, but this is not the one we want. What we actually want to do is go to the all apps option in Windows 10 or in Windows 7, this will be all programs and go down to VB audio and look for voice meter. I would recommend pinning this to your start menu so it is easier for you to find in the future. And once you have done that, click on this and it will open up the voice meter interface, which is where we will mirror our audio. So what we wanna do is go up here where it says A1 and A2 and set one of these to your Rift's headphones and the other one to your computer speakers or sound card. Here, I'll select A1 and choose WDM Headphones Rift Audio, which will send my game audio to the Rift's headphones. And for A2, I'll choose WDM Multi-Channel M-Audio Profile because the M-Audio Profile sound card is the sound card that my computer speakers are hooked up to. You likely won't see Profile as an option unless you also own an M-Audio Profile sound card. Your computer speakers will more than likely be plugged into the back of your PC, which means they'll be using your PC's built-in Realtek sound card drivers. And so this option will be WDM Speakers Realtek High Definition Audio. 
So select that or select whatever option that lists what your speakers are plugged into. Now the voice meter and the Oculus Home software will be set up correctly and you will now be able to put the Rift on your face and hear the audio coming out of both your Rift's headphones and your computer speakers. And it's literally that simple. So to recap, download and install the voice meter software, restart your computer, Open the Oculus Home software and change the Rift's VR audio output to Windows default. Close and then reopen the Oculus Home software. Open up the voice meter software. Set your A1 and A2 in voice meter to your Rift's headphones and your computer speakers and boom, you're good to go. If you have any issues, hit me up in the comments below and I'll help out where I can. And if you like this video, then crush that like button, subscribe if you wanna and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at facepalm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to bring your game face. Facepalm out.